This is the eHealth Radio Network, your source for health advice on demand. And now your host, Eric Michaels. Thanks for joining us once again here on the Health Radio Network. This is your host, Eric Michaels. eHealth Radio gives you the most current health information, news, and advice featuring some of the leading innovators in healthcare and wellness who are changing healthcare. As we know it, for more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealth Radio Network. Com. Today, we're speaking with Avonlea Christine, the CEO and founder of Avonlea Care, a new app that improves how families communicate and manage their care receivers' health in real time. Addressing the ever growing size of the senior population and senior home care industry, startup Avonlea Care is transforming how people care for aging family members through its innovative all in one elderly care app called Avonlea. To bring families closer, the app improves how families communicate and manage their care receivers' health in real time. Avonlea gives families peace of mind and care receivers an easy private way to socialize with loved ones and overcome loneliness and isolation, whether permanent or due to the pandemic, all from their smartphone. you got to love this. And Avonlea, thanks for joining us here today on ELF Radio. Yes, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, You're more than welcome. Looking forward to hearing all the details on this as well. So first of all, tell us about the Avonlea Elderly Care app and how it is different than what is currently available in the market. Let's start there. Yeah, absolutely. Simply put, Avonlea is an all-in-one elderly care app for families to remotely monitor an aging parent together from anywhere in the world. And, And why it's different is because of how we do things. And I think the best way to describe this is to go back in time a little bit um, on on why I really ventured out uh, to start this company. You know, I I say that my career started at the age of 10 um, when I was in Montana growing up. And my grandfather uh, became very, very ill. And I watched my mom, my dad, my aunts and uncles, and my grandmother, you know, have to start to care for him. And I've got aunts in other states. My mom was working full time. My dad was working full time. I saw how they were trying to essentially communicate on so many different areas um, of his care, medication, doctor's appointments. How is he feeling today? You know, dad said he, he didn't eat, but he did. Um, you know, and it just became this like fractured communication. And so I watched this from 10 years old until I was 18, until he passed away in 2008. And, and even then, what I was, what I was seeing firsthand was my family really did not have a way to get together on one platform to all care for him and communicate. And and back then, you know, the technology really didn't even exist yet to even to even do that. But I remember being in that moment. I remember thinking, man, there could be such a different way that this is handled. So, you know, fast forward, I'm I'm in college, I'm going to nursing school, I'm I'm working as a CNA, I'm in long term care facilities. And years have gone by, and I even see it then. And I was like, families would come in, and there was still there was this disconnection with the senior, with the senior and his children, between the adult children. They didn't have a platform to do this. And so I spent my 20s working in senior care technology, um, building applications to improve the lives of the elderly. But still, you know, right before the pandemic, the most common I, I guess, piece of technology that I ever really heard families using really was the life alert button. And so I thought, okay, well, if we are sending, you know, people to space, if we have the technology to be more connected to a celebrity, um, know where they vacation, what they're wearing, where they are, what they're eating on a daily basis, we should have the technology as family caregivers to just come together to remotely care for some of the most important people in our lives, our, our aging parents. And so that is what Avonlea Care is. Um, and that's what I believe makes us very, very different from anything on, on the market is we've combined all the essential, you know, I think 
activities of daily living, um, important things family caregivers need when it comes to remotely caring for an aging parent in just one simple to, to use, very private solution. Well, I can certainly understand where the motivation came from and the inspiration came from to make this a reality and certainly can appreciate your being proactive to make this happen. Good for you, and this is an awesome opportunity to tap into for sure. Now, tell us, what is the most important feature that you would say of the Avonlea Care app? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, I'd say right now um, the most important feature, let's say you and I are siblings, it's important that you and I know on a daily basis that one mom is safe um, if she's using it. Has she taken her medications? And, and and what are her immediate needs on a daily basis? And I would say, too, even coming out of COVID, you know, is she happy? Is she feeling okay? Because mood really does affect the senior's health. It affects whether they want to get up out of the chair, take a walk, if um, they want to tell somebody they're feeling down if they're if they're not okay, and so what we're seeing right now, you know, you know, we launched uh, just just a little while ago. We built the app. COVID hit. We had extreme growth, and then what we were seeing with family caregivers is, does mom have everything she needs to remain safe at home? And medication was a driver really a driver in that. And so right now what Avonlea is monitoring for a senior and giving the adult children access to is the medication, how they're doing, their health biometrics. We're integrated in with uh, Fitbit, uh, Google Health Kit, I'm sorry, Google Fit, Apple Health Kit. So as family caregivers, we kind of get this running daily report of mom's health. And then really, you know, what drives that? Because the second thing I get answered is, well, gosh, you know, my mom doesn't want to use an iPad. She's never going to be able to figure this out. Goes back to my childhood, which is when I, and even in working in nursing homes, is I know that if I give a senior an iPad and or an iPhone and they use Avonlea, what is going to drive them to, to, to use this to answer their health is engaging the grandchildren, engaging the engaging the family and that's why we built the private family network in this because if if a granddaughter is in Dallas, Texas moving into her dorm and mom can't grandma can't be there but she uploads a video to the Avonlea private family network of her moving in saying grandma you know I miss you I love you I wanted wanted to send this to you nine times out of ten the next morning when a senior looks at that video they feel valued and loved, and when you pepper in a medication question shortly after that, they will do it, and they'll take it, and they'll be honest about it. Because at the end of the day, you know, seniors want to be valued, validated by their friend and their family on what they are essentially doing with their health, just like you and I want to be validated when we post on social media. So we have found that the social and engaging the family um, in this platform is really driving the adoption of the health and answering those medication questions and other health questions throughout the day. Earlier, you mentioned the challenges when growing up and taking care of your grandfather. Tell us, what are the challenges of caring for an aging parent or relative, especially for those that have never been in that situation? Yeah. Um, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm the grandchild right now and I built this, you know, really for my grandmother today. I use it with my family, with my grandmother. It was inspired by my grandfather. And a couple years ago, um, right before the pandemic hit, I'm working in New York City. My grandma's in Montana. My mom's in Montana. Her siblings are, you know, peppered throughout the country. And we're faced with, wow, we got to start to remotely all get together and care for grandma. But we didn't have anything on the market. And I'm working in the senior care world in tech, and I thought, you know what? I think it's time to do this. I think it's time to build something for families to use, to communicate on, and and help care for an aging adult. And you know, the the big challenge was that there just wasn't anything available. Um, so we built Avonly Care. We got it on the market, and and the first thing I really experienced was, like I said earlier the fractured communication amongst adult children. There is, there's, there's really 
so much frustration. There's, I think there's guilt if a son is not near mom, if he can't be there every day to help care for her. There is this caregiver burden on the adult child, children because they're trying to juggle their own career, their own, you know, their family, their time, plus the care of their mother or their father. You know, did they take their medications, their finances? So this burden just falls on adult children when you enter the season of life or if you're, you know, if you're a grandchild like me who's an active caregiver um, in your grandparents' life, there's just so much that comes on you. So you're, so you're thinking, okay, how do I lighten the load? How, how do I give families the ability to communicate and communicate well? How do I improve the overall, you know, health of a senior, their day, with a platform that's going to give the adult child the information they need to make an informed executive decision at the end of the day on whether maybe they need to go over there or they need to get something for their parent to remain safe at home. So I really wanted to lighten the load for the, for the family caregivers. Well, it certainly sounds like that is being done, and this is quite an awesome tool. Today, we're speaking with Avonlea Christine, the CEO and founder of Avonlea Care, a new app that improves how families communicate and manage their care receivers' health in real time. And she's joined us here today on eHealth Radio, Senior Care and Technology Channels, a part of the eHealth Radio Network. Now, how has digital technology improved elder care, and what does the future hold in your opinion? Uh, talk to us about that. Yeah, very, very wise question. <laughs> you know, tech, technology has a really important role to play in enabling the remote care of elderly people. You know, and what the pandemic has done is really just accelerated the adoption um, of about a decade's worth of change in digital health in just two years. So remote care became essential, not optional. Nursing homes became a dangerous place for the old, and the load on our physical medical infrastructure had to be tightly controlled. So in addition, patients themselves had and seniors had to become more familiar with engaging with their healthcare professionals, their families, and their support team to remote, um, remotely through technology. So one really, you know, very important silver lining from this pandemic is that digital healthcare has really come of age in helping seniors to be cared for where they want to be cared for, which is in their own homes. And, you know, we're really, we're in a great position to do that. Avonlea, our technology is enhancing the, the support for a person alone in their home, impacting both their social and physical, physical well-being. And the role of technology will only become more important as, as the years go by. And I certainly think you're accurate in saying that. Now, lastly, what does the future hold for senior care in America as we conclude today? Yeah. I believe that the future of senior care will be to provide as much of that care as possible in the home, um, both because people and families want it and because it is, it is so much more cost effective. And we are happy to be on the forefront of that. <laughs> and of course, we're honored to be a part of getting the word out about this incredible app that you have put into the marketplace for folks to tap into and really do appreciate you're joining us here today and for what you're doing in the space as well. Tell us where can folks get more information on the Avonlea Care app and how could they download it? Uh, give us some details on that. Yep. Uh, you know, we're proud to announce we actually just launched um, Avonlea Basic. We have a couple couple tiers. It's a free version. We also have Avonlea Premium. It's available on Google Play and the App Store. Um, so you can actually go there right now and download the app and get set up and start caring for your loved ones today and that sounds easy enough again Ivan Lee thank you so much and we really do appreciate your time today thanks for having me have a wonderful day and you too Ivan Lee we've been speaking with Ivan Lee Christine the CEO and founder of Ivan Lee Care a new app that improves how families communicate and manage their care receivers health in real time and once again for all the details visit Ivan Lee Care Com. And again, this has been your host, Eric Michaels, and we do thank you for your continued support of the eHealth Radio Network. Join us again soon for another episode that will help further expand your knowledge on those things that are important to your health and wellness. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealthRadioNetwork.com. And as always, we do thank you for tuning in. 
Thanks for tuning in to the eHealth Radio Network. For more information or to subscribe to this podcast, visit eHealthRadioNetwork.com.